Hello and a warm welcome to World News Today. I'm Kasia Madeira. It is called Future Fest. It's a festival of ideas, talks and interactive performances to inspire people to change the future. And it's underway right here in London this weekend. This is a glimpse of what it's like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future. I think what really makes Future Fest what it is, is all the people here. Future Fest, it's an experience. It's not only listening and doing stuff, it's more. You get the chance to touch, to see, to smell, to taste the future, but also to argue with it. I really like Future Fest. The minute we walked in, there was someone flying in a chair. Riders are literally going to be riding their own brainwaves. It was quite gentle and just seemed to be kind of experiencing me as much as I was experiencing it. In most of shops, it's please don't touch, don't taste, but we want people to get involved. <laughs> that is really good. Remember, it's good for you. It's tasty. Good. Whoa! The future of music was well, going to be interesting. When you lose a sense, I think your other senses perk up. I felt like I could hear every note in the music more intently, and my taste buds were stronger. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good to be here. <laughs> Looks fascinating, doesn't it? I've got a lot of questions. Luckily, Ghislaine Boddington, curator of Future Fest, joins us now. So this is all about looking at the future and the internet and the world. And what on earth are we talking about here? Well, this is an amazing event that's happening this weekend in Tobacco Docks in East London. And we've brought together speakers, artists, experts from all range of backgrounds and different sectors to talk about their visions of 10 to 30 years ahead. So what kind of visions are we expressing here? Because we, we see the futuristic uh, films, the sci-fi films, what we can expect. What are you focusing on? We've got four themes, future love, future work, future play and future thrive, covering most of our lives, actually. But what we're really interested in is actually getting to the bottom of some of the debates, getting some more questions out there and allowing us all to network and exchange and share into a public, a wider debate about some of the concerns, but also about some of the amazing stuff that's going to happen ahead. Now, I know that you in particular are looking at the aspect of future love. What are you focusing on in particular? Well, Nesta, who run Future Fest, they are very much about looking at innovation. They're an innovation foundation. And so I'm coming from a, a dance background. I'm a body technologist. I'm really aware there's so much coming out of our bodies with our Fitbits when we're doing jogging, etc. This is going to be used much more. Our bodies need to be at the centre of digital technologies. So we're looking at connected lovers. We're looking at the lover of non-human humans like robots and avatars. We're looking at shifting identities and actually how it's making us all behave and be able to participate in love, a universal need for all of us in different ways. So you're talking about what, interacting with a robot? I don't want to be rude, but what, 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 is, what will we see at the festival itself? Well, we will have a panel looking at synthetic emotions and also the director and the choreographer from humans actually talking about their development of the difference between the humans and the synths in that particular drama and we're going to be exploring through several people's keynotes the difficulties of robotics and empathy and actually whether we can ever get to a real empathetic point with robots today. And so in terms of like artificial intelligence, I guess that's something that's going to feature strongly. Artificial intelligence, I think, will come up in all four themes and will be explored by experts with their vision, the positives and the negatives. Also very much looking at the ethics and behaviours. So we all are part of that debate. We've got a chance this weekend to experience immersive, immersive installations, to there's a wonderful one, Love After Death, looking at digital afterlife yeah, and, and what, what is beyond our deaths and how we can memorise together. Lots of different options to talk with your friends about, to move around five different stages of talks. Absolutely fascinating. Ghislaine Boddington, thank you very much. Good luck with Future First, which is taking place this weekend right here in London.